Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty using less equipment, niche builds, less soldier classes, less hit points and of course the infamous A Better Advent and A Better Chosen. Time for Operation Moon Shriek which is the Black Side facility. Got Codexes, Mutants, uh, good old uh, robots, Spectre Primes, Archon Sentinels, Viverns, and Elite Assaults. So a good bit of everything, and I decided to just bring the absolute bare minimum. It's almost as going to a uh, important exam or test that you haven't learned at all, and you're trying to get that uh, D to barely pass. That's exactly how I feel about this mission. We're bringing kind of the bottom of the barrel. Um, and that's not despicable against any of these guys. They are great soldiers, but the others are just better. We got only sergeants, Endors, Wrong Planet, Russ, Hats, and Car uh, Carabinero. Uh, Hats was the guy who was allegedly captured, but I figured out since the Warlock already died, no one actually captured him, so he still remained. Um, minimum is we want to kill that entire mission. The better version is we're also going to Skulljack a Codex and are going to get that Avatar. And all of that needs to happen right now and hopefully without much uh, injuries. Good, good, good. We have just landed and let's take a look. Wow, we got Ronan Murphy here. A barely... A barely appropriately uh, clothed uh, guy who has not heard what the typical outfit in war is. So he felt like just after being at the, I don't know, hippie concert, he's joining XCOM um, in that raid. Welcome. I appreciate you. Anders is the only one who eventually can scout for us without being detected. Secundus takes the other side. And we got some pretty nice high ground here, which we're definitely going to use to our advantage. High ground, high ground. <laughs> Mr. Inappropriate Ronan Murphy. And we got Hats, who can hang back a tiny bit. And Wrong Planet. Same deal. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Anders is going to go in. Anders reminds me, he's being spelled differently, but it reminds me of the movie Anders Game. An excellent movie where small genius boy uh, is being asked to pilot a large fleet and at the end uh, he go goes through Closing a simulation kind of uh, destroying an entire alien species it turns out that that was not All a simulation I don't want to spoil it too much uh, but Whatever it indeed say. was a pretty good movie good back to XCOM at hand Garabinero uh, is still going to overwatch, so is everyone else. This is a pretty solid position here and perfectly timed. The enemy is coming in. In order to let them come a bit closer, you know what? If they come much closer, uh, the. the. Uh, Codex will eventually die, so I don't want that to happen. Instead, how about Carabinero? And how about like straight up killing that pyro? <laughs> 22 that points of damage. Is. Holy shit! Well, that was a good hit. 24 to be precise, because he also went through armor. Perfect timing for a school jack. All or nothing. This here is choose to lose for reason. There you go. And we're getting some intel on top of it. Got access. 
you know what? Who would have guessed? Commander, I believe we are seeing something entirely new. Who would have guessed? Or observation by resistance forces. Capture or observation by resistance forces. Well, that is no longer the case. He has not elu uh, evaded that anymore. No problem, Moving down. It doesn't matter that he could flank us because he's going to teleport away anyways. The more important aspect this time is that we're shredding it. It will teleport anywhere in our vision range. Lost two out of four of its armor. What the? It Perfect timing for overdrive. That kind of goes without saying. There we go. Oh, it's the rest shredded. Uh, you know what? Oh, that's a perfect position for Ronan here. Inappropriate clothing Ronan, that is. Moves up. And inappropriately does the shotgun to the face. Unfortunately, they uh, dodged. Fifty-fifty. Fantastic hit. Okay, and let's kill that avatar. I mean, that l made it look easy, guys, but I, I promise you, typically they are not easy, specifically not with an all rookie team. That was literally worst case scenario for him. <laughs> we could move on in school, my no, 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 no. Uh, I am reckless, but I am not that reckless. We're moving out of line of sight. We are, however, going to take advantage of our long range. It's unfortunately a miss. Ross has another chance here. Could be a kill. Two times 50 50, two times no good. No bueno. Inappropriate uh, Ronan. Who happened to join the resistance after having several counts of inappropriate behavior at work? I'm not sure which words I can use uh, in order to not scare off the YouTube algorithm, specifically by, uh, with made up stories. But you get it, like, that was the reason why he uh, originally was fired. And then. When he could not uh, work together with uh, the aliens, he ended up in the resistance. That's his whole background story right there. Secundus moves in. Overwatch, wrong planet, Overwatch as well. Guy is fully charging in, and our inappropriate, um, our inappropriate agent actually has hit him. For whatever reason, we're being spotted out. I call a bit of BS on that one because we're not on the same height. Well, we barely, maybe, are on the same height, but yeah, that that's an interesting scout out. Okay, I suppose I deserve that one for making all of the jokes.
But we're starting with the snipers. 61% into full cover. I mean, at least they're removing cover. I, I give them that. They have not been very effective in actually killing the enemy. We are reloading. And as part of the reload, let's also kill this guy. Inappropriate Murphy could move up. Moving to designated coordinates. Does that into full cover. 50-50. Can't believe that, that guy is always hitting. Gonna need to reload soon. We do not have a stock on this weapon so hopefully we're hitting very good that worked out secundus is definitely a reliable source here moving up again into half cover and enders takes revenge for effectively being um, hit at the same time we are moving over here and this could come back and take a heal i think we can regroup and take it easy i wonder why exactly these guys oh they yeah hmm. i was wondering why we triggered them and they were not having tactical analysis but now i i know we did trigger them on their turn, so in all fairness, I was wrong. Good, we got Overwatch. Wrong planet also reloads. So we're good. Quite a few overwatches here. We're eventually getting the snipers further to the front. And are taking this high ground here, which should be highly beneficial for us. Now it's a matter of transitioning correctly. And the way that I like to transition is uh, to make sure I will comply. that you do have enough Overwatch is ready, just in case. Vamos, vamos. Snipers typically, I tend to double move because I see little reason in essentially just single moving them. The pistol is not a very gr uh, good Overwatch tool. Ronan here. Moves up from the low ground. So that's more or less the difficult, the difficult turn. But we don't want to be ambushed. Understood. Moving out. Okay, so we could move all the way up to there. Moving into solid cover. Taking the other high ground. Yeah. Again, a tran uh, transitory type of uh, movement. Good. 
We're going to see about possible hostile contact uh, next turn, whether or not we can move the snipers up. Wrong planet, takes the right position over here. Fantastic. Russ takes the other position. Heads moves over there. Secundo slightly to the front. I like Carabinero over here. Just as a uh, kind of uh, second okay. second fire angle. Crossfire typically is the way to go. And I would not be surprised if someone moves directly into our overwatch trap here. Moving a bit further. And there's the trigger right away. Mind you, we do have overdrive, so things should work out. Mind you also, there is a prime. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to see about that. Oh, it immediately duplicated. I see. I see how it is. Do we have death from above? No, we do not. Okay. removal do we have left over one two actually okay so mutant is down let's kill it Love it when your 90% shots are missing. Wrong planet takes a shot and hit and kill. Okay, eight protocol over here, just in case. Still a pretty good chance of killing this guy. Unfortunately, we need to deal with the mutant first. Mutant low on hit points. Moving inappropriate Murphy up, who is now having the chance to kill a mutant. So far, he's doing well, and inappropriate Murphy didn't know how to behave on in the workplace environment, but he very much knew how to behave right here. Outloader, we got a stock. Ah, that's not good. Move all the way over here. That would be a long, long, long walk.
Hmm. I like the idea of an EMP bomb. But I like that eye better. That guy dodged. Fantastic. And he gives himself a shield, one that we can't easily penetrate. Fantastic. Let's hit that Cortex Prime. I said crit. Good job. 11 points of damage is huge. And he's just one off uh, to be killed by Comet Protocol. So we gotta take that shot. Heads. Right just hits the shield. We're taking return fire. But eventually, it goes down. Good, so that's one half of uh, the co uh, Codex Prime down. The other half is still lingering back there with a few hit points. And of course. We are triggering a few more enemies. <laughs> Yet another, um, another Primark, Prime rather, same deal, Codex Prime, High Cover, how's that in High Cover, how's that thing in High Cover? Sixty six percent of essentially critting it and killing it. And of course it dodges. Barely out of range. Fantastic. Good. Well, this should be a kill. Should. Going into cover. And that should be another kill. Luckily this time... Luckily this time it actually killed. Whatever you say. Moving into full cover. What are we going to do with you guys? Two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, two. Oh, gosh, I hate it sometimes. Two, four, six, eight. What are we, what are we dealing with? Five to three, uh, uh, six, and there is a chance. And there is a chance for crit, but not for him because he can't crit yet. Hmm. No bigger booms means no bigger boom. Okay. Ouch. That hurt. 
But it would have hurt more to just stay there. We can potentially shut this guy down. Nope, we cannot because <laughs> so far we have not learned that skill. Oh boy, I do love it when things are going to uh, work out. There are even two towers up here. Fantastic. Just atmosly fantastic. in and just slash these guys but that would almost securely be ah, it would be outside of the range of the tower hmm. might as well Okay, good job, Saiken. Outside of the range of Tower 1, inside of the range of Tower 2. Well, that's how it's done here. 61% is good enough for a kill. Codex is gone. Did you see that one? Run and try. The bomb, unfortunately, still remains. So... Let's move inappropriate Murphy to the front and make sure that he's a better target than our mech. On my way. Moving over to here, a protocol, um, protocol, and we're hitting the tower quite nicely. Heads has almost killed it. What? We were not in range. How is that even a thing? All right, Overwatch removed. Moving up a bit closer. And this definitely moves up. Inappropriate Murphy reloads and overwatches. We can't really move further in, so I'm being incredibly careful here not to overstress or overstay my welcome. Secundus overwatches. Wrong planet overwatches. Carabinero reloads. And finally takes some cover because I don't like to stand in the open. It's just too reckless. Interestingly enough, that was in line of sight. I figured it would not be. Good. That guy is now coming out instead of forcing us to move in. Wow. Wow. Good work likely going to see Enders here being shot again. Let's do this. Can we hit the tower first? 
just to get uh, the uh, overwatch off of it. Yep, that worked like a charm. Okay, if we're going to shoot, it's going to trigger reaction because uh, the overwatch uh, is covering fire overwatch. We're going to do that, of course, together with our beloved 8 protocol. Sentinel shoots. Misses thanks to our 8 protocol. We're shooting, we're hitting. Moving forward. Inappropriate Murphy shot not this time not this time seems doable moving into full cover and Arkham goes down finally Alright, Endorus Overwatches, Ras Overwatches, and Heads just takes a more aggressive position. But we can wait one more turn until the 8 protocol is back. It's potentially a perfect timing just to reload for everyone. Oh yeah, and and we got overdrive back next turn. Okay, inappropriate uh, Murphy is going to be the guy who is triggering. Just decided that. Everybody's got to carry their weight, inappropriate Murphy. Sprint plus full cover. 100% sure what just happened. But he apparently fell down just to not fall down afterwards. Highly interesting. Highly interesting. <laughs> you can't make that uh, that stuff up, guys. You just cannot make that stuff up. Moving in. Opening the door. sure why exactly we would not be able to see this guy apparently there seems to be kind of a magical wall Maybe that was it, because we never really discovered it. But the line of uh, sight in this particular mission is incredibly off. I have not seen such a bad uh, case in a while. Okay, 
Time to shred everyone and everything. Snipers are not hitting very well this time. Okay, time to kill the mech. <laughs> going to charge it. That's not happening. Target engagement failure. All right, overdrive completely failed us unfortunately as well. Which then again forces us to use heavier and heavier stuff. Closing the door, opening the door, still nothing, closing the door, and overwatching. Those guys have only one turn. Advent forces and just the right moment to pull a bit more Advent. That would be nice. School mining the guy. Finally, we can see him, but unfortunately, there is still an Overwatch further down there. Tower finally is removed. That would be one point of damage, right? Yeah. Even if we do not hit, which we, of course, do not do. This guy is still burning, hence it will... It will take damage. And therefore die. This might trigger Overwatch. Wyvern, the fire spitter. Trajectory failure. Oh, that was bad. We might need to suppress it. Murphy moves over. And we're hunkering down. This is triggering an overwatch, but we're sprinting. Yep, so chance were very low for a hit. He's still li uh, alive and well, which is a problem. So what's the plan here, Saiken? It's 100% hit, but we would be standing in the open. We do have a sustenance sphere. So 
so the shot that we would be taking wouldn't be too bad. Let's suppress the Viper, the Viverin rather. We move into half cover and flank the guy. Not the worst idea. It's not a not as much of an Hail Mary play as the other one. And this here should be a kill. Hats is still flanked, but uh, the guy that is, or the Viverin that's flanking him is suppressed. Flashbang potentially. Yep. But it flashbanged its own, uh, own friend. <laughs> Two missing the shot. What a clown fiesta. What a clown fiesta. Alright, we're going to kill this guy soon. Now reloading. This is an interesting case of targeting priority because both of the targets are rather high on the priority list. 50-50 for an insta-kill. Like it. Ordini confermati, mi muovo. All right, inappropriate Murphy jumps down. Come on, Viver needs a good solid hit. That's fantastic. And Hats hopefully can get revenge. That's even better. Head trigger for free action. We're going to take that as a reload. Overwatch re um, reload Overwatch. to cluster up there's still a pack somewhere around here what an interesting mission so far Definitely more fun than the typical uh, kind of black side mission where you have the same no typical packs over and over. Uh, yeah, it kind of gives uh, gives the uh, whole thing a bit of a fresh breath of air. Or a bit of a stinky breath, depending on whether or not you like tougher missions. Okay. Would the enemies be so kind and just run into my Overwatch trap? Isn't as elaborate as it normally is, but I would still be quite happy if they would do that. Reloading everyone. Okay. Good. Well. They won't come to us, we're going to come to them. Sort of. Ras takes the high ground here. I like it. Heads moves up. Carabinero. Full cover. And inappropriate Murphy. 
Inappropriate Murphy moves here. It's done a good job so far. He kept his uh, hold his uh, own against the more experienced troops here, which either could have been a sign of him being uh, overperforming or just our overall troops not being super good. Okay. Nothing there, fantastic. Having a sniper over here makes sense. Having a second sniper over here makes sense. And Hats is going to move up there as well. That way we have a nice high ground position. Anders definitely moves up here because he can jump and f uh, jump in and flank from here and we already know that this is not triggering so inappropriate murphy can take the position all right nothing there yet it's uh, an interesting turn of events Everybody moves a tiny bit. And more Overwatch. Next round is going to be breaching time. This should trigger. Interestingly enough, it does not. really out. begs the question where are all of the enemies I can handle that. good moving further down Where are they? They must be down here. Potentially back there. Inappropriate Murphy tries to spot them out. You heard the doctor. Secure that canister. Good. They only know about him, and that seems to be a Spectre Prime. Okay, hey, gotta be careful here start with the sort of secure things snipers first well, that's a nice crit almost 100% kill all right 100 to 0 them in just two shots that was good Moving in. Overdriving. Itching that Spectre. And let's try to hit that Spectre with a Power Fist. 
Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Cool, an alarm core is exactly what we needed. We are jumping down to here. And we're going to take away his special abilities, thanks to suppression. Fifty fifty, removing cover. Anders takes the eight protocol. And Enders takes the full um, the full cover over here. <laughs> All right, Overwatch it is. Okay, I like the idea of suppressing it because I think that prevents it from using horror. And horror is one of the things that we don't want it to do. Horror deals five points of damage and would outright kill Enders. EMP bomb. I'm not 100% sure if he is susceptible to an EMP bomb. We can give it a try. I think he does not count as a mechanical unit in that regard. Should be no effect. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. Stun three rounds means GG for the Spectre. Because we can essentially just go to town on him. Threading it nicely. Well, as so often, the last enemy gets overkilled. Nemico eliminato. Di questo passo finisco a secco. Moving on target. Inappropriate Murphy. Still on the chase here. Overwatch. Come get some. Okay, good. Let's move everybody over here to the exit zone. No more enemies. Roger that. We have Wrecking Ball. Yes, we do. Which means we are nicely going to abuse uh, that to our advantage and are going to break through the wall to essentially have a faster exit route. Sono pronto. Copy that. Inappropriate Murphy moves and Enders also you begins to move. Well, that's the wrong direction. Wrong planet. Current Binero. Anders, inappropriate Murphy. Russ definitely walks a long, long way. And those guys are just fin finishing the turn there. Carabinero. Via, via, via. 
Let's do this. And one more round. Good. So now we're using Wrecking Ball to our advantage. Fictitiously overdriving. And that means we can move through the wall. Just like this here, for instance. Or like this. Or simply like this. Moving to designated coordinates. Good to go. Good. Carabinero also moves up. And ours. Good. Now, time to get out of here. Heads picks up the vial. The guy who should have been captured by Advent, but has not. That's not water in there. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity. Very good. We're going to take that and it'll offer us another research option. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. Good. One more round. And we're good to go. Of course, Super Overwatch on everyone and their mother and sister and brother-in-law. Let's see how well these guys are going to do. Two stun lances. That's a nice hit. That's a fantastic hit. That's a great hit. That's an awesome hit. Oh, that's uh, unfortunately not a hit. Oh boy, that was not bad. All things considered. Heavy Advent Mech gets shredded. And we're going to evac. Heavy Advent Mech gets hit. No, it does not. And we're going to evac. Heavy Advent Mech gets one shot. No. And guess what? We're going to evac. Enders. Takes revenge for everything that they've done. So many nice 90% or 80% shots that are missing. Very good. At least the hair trigger worked. This shot. There we go. And heads will bring the vial out. And good news for inappropriate Murphy. He's allowed to retreat and continue his inappropriate reign in the future. Good, guess what? We got a lot of promotions. Promotion number one. Um, that looks like uh, whole targeting to me. Wonderful, wrong planet. Finally got the promotion. We got Russ here with that eye. We got Hats who gets Haywire Protocol. Could have used that in the last mission. And Carabinero finally gets death from above. Good job, guys. Well done. Lakeside Vial 
and the Avatar Corpse. I think we're not going to get a double dip. Oh yeah, well we maybe are getting a double dip. That's minus four on the Avatar Project, is that correct? One, two, three. Yeah, it failed to get the minus one from the Avatar, which is why you typically don't do it. But we never had a problem with the Avatar project to begin with. We're actually quite fine, and we could easily uh, do the other um, the other bases. But to which end, we, we don't need to do that right now. We do not need to do that right now. I think the next mission that we actually need to do once the covered ops mission is over, is, damn right, the portal up here. We can shortly double check uh, the black market. Maybe we're finding something, 350 intel. Sounds like a lot to me. And I'm in spending motivation. Per superior perception, yes please, that's a great thing. Superior speed, yes please, that is also great. Superior Expanded Magazine. Oh, hell yeah, that's a great one. Um, the others are so-and-so, but a Colonel Sharpshooter was actually quite good. We got Colonel Wikesa Nigella. I hope I did not butcher his name. But yeah, if you can get, if you can get your hands onto a Colonel then why would you not do that? It's, I think, the third sharpshooter kernel that we have. Promoting it is per the usual. Kill zone. Aim and serial. That was a super helpful visit. Personal combat sims might get the superior perception from the get-go. Well, congratulations, you start with 104 aim. That is quite high. <laughs> and I can't believe it, but I think the guy also uh, gets the autoloader, superior expanded magazine, and a laser sight. Not and the best weapon, but it's a decent uh, weapon, and has a superior magazine in it. In so he's ready to go. Val Valentine, Nigella. To begin immediately. Someone from Nigeria in the comments might want to tell me if that's the right way of pronouncing the name. Anyways, that's good. And I think, yeah, we wanted to uh, to finish the next covert ops, and then we're off to the next mission. Avenger plotting new course. So just flying over here might already finish the mission. Almost. There we go. People seem to work well together, Commander. Good. We wanted to make contact immediately, so that's our next big gig. But before we're going to do that, and the reason why I was so keen on finishing the mission is Frodo here had a couple of uh, things in his loadout that I just wanted to change. Disrupt the rifle for once, which is great. So that's good, that's fantastic. And then Blaster Launcher would be the other one. We finally got one. And the Blaster Launcher is just so good. 7 to 10 points of damage is fantastic. Just almost as good as the Capacitator Discharge, but probably better because it also removes cover in the area, shreds nicely, so that's well, just fantastic. Um, in terms of in terms of doing that next mission 
instant um, pro, um, instant contact is good I'm just looking at the rewards here couple of aim nothing outstanding so I think we're just going with that plus one health and if I were to take a, a person who needs it then it would be a frontliner and his counterpart is Wurz, so both of them will reduce the time to nine days. Might as well just go into that mission and we'll get, the job done. get that Don't plus work. one hit point. Well deserved. Good. And that brings us to kind of the back-to-back -back mission that I was hoping we could do. We wanted to go here. Chrysalid King, Archon, Codex. Oh, it sounds Thanks like a abnormally fun mission to fight against all of uh, the chrysalids and if it just says chrysalid kings maybe everything there is a chrysalid king who knows let's just double check whom we're going to take for that mission okay so that's how the team would look like that is team that c team that is going to go in drinks toxic secundo sandman tapper and mike the public bravo but that guys is going to happen in our next episode Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed uh, the inappropriate uh, recruits that we've had on that uh, run, or if you enjoyed uh, any of the gameplay, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. That I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate that, and it helps the channel. And see you in two days from now. Take care and goodbye.